All right. Hello. Good afternoon. Good evening. And good morning somewhere out there in the world. You're listening to WLTH Radio, the region's choice and the people's voice. And of course, this is none other than Sound Off with EVE. And yes, you guys all getting to know me as EVE, right? And I guess it's going to stick with me till I die because EVE is my name. And it's also an acronym that can stand uh, for nothing but empowerment, victory, and energetic, because that's what we're all about, bringing uh, empowerment here through the airwaves and, uh, you know what, claiming victory, because if we follow the right, as some of you want to call it, the power, the being, the the power, positive force, God, if we follow that, then we'll be all right and we will be claiming victory and of course we need a lot of energy and i got a lot of energy in this studio today guys and i hope that those that are watching us on you stream you get to enjoy what you're going to hear and i did uh give you guys a little example of one of the songs and they have two songs here that they're going to release and i've been blessed to release the one of them that has not been put out there and in just a few minutes we're going to bring um our future here at the studio they're here waiting and uh uh, it's just it's just all wonderful, and I dedicate this week to our youth, as I said, and talk about good things. And if I'm going to talk about negative, you know I'm going to turn it into a positive. And the views expressed by the callers and the host of this show are not necessarily the views of WLTH Radio Management, owners, and sponsors. And for those of you that are listening, you can call in at 219-885-1371. It's been a beautiful day. The weather's been great. It was a little chilly this morning, but that's okay. Light jacket will do. And now, guess what? You didn't need the jacket, right? But prepare to have that jacket ready, handy, in your car, wherever you go, because temperature can drop like that within within an hour. And when we leave the studio, then that's when we really feel the change, don't we, Omar? We really feel that change uh, of weather when, when we uh, come outside of the building. And it's a great view. Uh, we get to watch accidents hear the sirens and see people just zoom through here or scream their t- screech tires and whatnot so we get the best of both worlds here at 487 broadway shout out to the torres uh, robert much love to you and your family to eddie your brother brother and the family as well and to uh shout out to fcc and the family from fcc and of course the youngins uh, are going to give a shout out to their loved ones as when they can then when they get up here and before i go any further with my interview don't forget october 11th please invite your family and you know this this weekend is about family and the following weekend's about family and i just love it it should be family and when i say family i don't mean my brother and my sister i mean everybody we're all family. We're all brothers and sisters, and that's the way we should treat each other. And, and when I hear that someone, especially young, is doing something right, something positive, turning their life around and making things great and just setting example and leading the role into that right path, you got to know about it. Because, you know, bad enough I got a big mouth, right? Well, we, we want them to, to be louder than my mouth. We want them to shine as well. And it's not about me, remember? And it's not about you. It's all about our youth. And this week, I dedicated to the youth. And so the 11th, we have uh, the, uh, the great, great, great citywide kids dance party and concert, ages 2 to 14. It is free to the public uh, at the John Will Anderson Boys and Girls Club, 2700 West 19th Avenue in Gary, Indiana. And, of course, as I said, it's free for everyone. It is a family event. Uh, Welcome to enjoy the fun, snacks, prizes, contacts, family photos, face painting, balloons, pack up the bus, and bring your youth groups as well. Concert features, positive teen artists, and we're going to have representation from the region. Not just Gary, not just East Chicago, not just the region. Uh, We're going to bring, I'd like to see a rainbow on the stage because this is a melting pot this country was not made up of just one, it's made up of all. And the city of Gary is not just made up of one, it's also made up of all. I am blessed to say I was raised here in GI and I am still here, how about that? I'm here six days a week, and sometimes seven if I come to my parents on Sunday. So please bring your whole family, uh, you know that kids just wanna have fun, but not just any kind of fun, it's the clean fun, the safe fun, and, and you know you don't have to worry about it. We'll have chaperones there by fraternities, sororities, and candidates for election in conjunction with the city of Gary, Mayor Karen Freeman Wilson. And of course, if you want more information on this, please call 317-384-5728. And this Saturday coming up, don't forget to join me out there, Gene Shepard, here uh, in Hammond, Indiana, just right off Kennedy Avenue, going nor- north, uh, right at the first light, hang a right, curve 
Curver Wine, and you're right there. And we're going to have um, young artists there as well, free entertainment, free food, and it's our 11th annual Latino Resource Fair. And get this, we have over 60 vendors there. That's a lot of information, free information to the public, English and in Spanish. We don't discriminate anybody, and you don't need to speak Spanish or be Hispanic or Latino descent to be at the event. Don't let that title um, confuse you. The Latino Resource Fair, that's the name we've had for 11 years. And it gives me great pleasure to be part of the committee, to sit on that board, and that's Hammond Hispanic Community Committee. And it's not just about Hammond, it's about the community at, at whole, or it, you know, the whole region. So it's, it's great to be here. Happy, what is this day, Tuesday already? Wednesday, I'm missing a day. Happy Wednesday, hump day to you guys. The calling number again is 219-885-1371. And, of course, it's eight minutes after the hour. We're going to bring up our guest so they can get situated up here and get their mics going. Uh, but uh, what I want to do is just play the first song to introduce them to come up here. Come on up here, youngins, because you guys are still young. We're going to need a chair. I'm bringing that chair over here. It's, it's just a, a great day here in the USA and GI. Oh, I, I want one of those shirts. You guys didn't bring one? Well, guess what? You owe me. And it's called Impact City in their shirt. Anything in the back of the shirt? No. Okay, well, that's great. The mics are off, so you want to move them over to centrally put it between you two. And, and my youngin right here will have his right here. And um, you, you really, uh, okay, here, I'll give you these. This is just in case of a caller call, so you want to hear even better. Okay. Then you, you put these on you, okay? And you can put them on now if you want, so you can hear me, you, and the music. And these are the volumes, so is the volume okay? Yeah, as long as fine. Is that good? Is that right? Okay. Uh, the call in number is 219-85-1371. And listen to this song. It's powerful. Listen to this. And this is by Impact City, and they're here live in the studio. These life just keep getting ruined Cause there's nobody to guide them Got them in the right direction So there's microphones by item To help them through their depressions Cause them young is all of the blocks They be waking up to them shots Talking about we ain't loving them thoughts That's why everything that you got Selling them drugs don't mean that you quiet Talking about real man, I'm like stop Being a real man when you work Keep that family second, got first And uh, generation is changing Ten year olds out there banging Do you hear what I'm saying? That's why I say we need praying Young is needing a difference, father I say we need help They don't know what they do, because they young and confused And the devil's amused, wait to the end of the show Tell them you reap what you sow, I think that's something he know Play with fire, get burned, you don't want to blame them, make a change But if they try to stop me like a lion, you can't tame this Youngins on my block, youngin' youngins, man I see them Youngins on my block, youngin' youngins, man I see them Youngins on my block, youngin' youngins Trap dudes that rap you put a glock to fit in a blast set before you can snap back into reality. For you are stroking and using profanity, language of saying it's dangerous and kids having kids, but tell me who's to blame when they pass out condoms in eighth grade classes. And the fact is, is that when I graduated, I got mine. But my dude missed out because he got caught and he did time. What was foreign is now the norm. It's being a door for your thought or a killer, the reason you were born. There's gotta be more, but tell me now what is the purpose of twerking? Is there any girls up for self respect? Throw it all out of the window, I guess. Right now we really need God Who's gonna step up to make it all stop Does your little brother gotta get shot Or your baby daughter gotta get raped It's sad to say but think about it What's it gotta take for you to wanna make a change Pray for your children we die in the violence And some of us trying but start now Do a young man gotta be a victim To spark up Your motivation is saving this us generation What's gotta be your situation Critics and low assistance judgments And I hope it's given my God Youngins on my block Youngin, youngins, man I see them 
on my block, youngin' youngins. Man, I see them youngins on my block, youngin' youngins. Man, I see them youngins. Man, I see them youngins. Man, I see them youngins on my block, youngin' youngins. Man, I'm playing for these youngins on my block, youngin' youngins. Man, I wanna reach these youngins on my block, youngin' youngins. Man, I wanna say these youngins on my block, youngin' youngins. Man, I'm praying for these youngins on my block, youngin' youngins. Man, I wanna reach these youngins on my block, youngin' youngins. Let it move, go and call you. Youngins. 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 Just praying for them youngins. We out. Save you. All right. That is called Youngins, right? Mm -hmm. And it's by Impact City here live in the studio. I have three talented, gifted, very, very godly type of kids that uh, set a great example, even in their music. And I didn't need to ask the question, even though I asked it, because I get songs sent to me sometimes on Twitter or on Facebook to share their music. But if there's any curse words or any profanity, I can't share it or I'll have to silence it. If there's anything negative, I can't. Uh, okay, now she, she knows. Dinah knows I'm on the radio, and that's Dinah calling me in. Dinah, shout out to you. Dinah Lynn Big show on Saturdays. Listen to her as well. Come on in the uh, weekends, Saturdays. Great music she plays. And, well, I asked them, but I already knew the answer. Do they have any profanity in their music? And the answer is no. And that's one great reason, uh, one of them, why I have them here. That, that music that they play speaks to the youngins. Right. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm not all about rap. I'm not into that. You know, I'm at my 40 some years old, you know, my, the kids, I leave it for you guys to listen to that and enjoy it. But what caught my attention as uh, one of our guests here and you'll get to hear from him, uh, he said, I, it's just the message. We want to spread that message. And I said, that's exactly what caught my attention was the message that you're sending because that's so true. And listeners, you know that we have youngins out on the street hanging on the corners looking for something. And I don't know what it is because on corners, you really don't have anything good to find in a corner. Bless you. Right? Um, so here we have three young men, and we'll get to find out what their ages are. So if you can start this way, this way, give us your name. Move the, um, move the uh, microphone a little bit closer to you. He'll adjust the volume so you don't have to really get really, really close to it. So give us your name, where you're from, and your age, please. All right. Uh, I'm Harvey Cameron, 17. And I'm from Chicago. All right. You don't have to move it. Just, oh, okay, just okay. leave it like that. It's good. All right. Well, my name is Danny Del Valle. I'm 19, and I'm from Hammond, Indiana. Mm. My name is Julian Taylor. I'm 14, and I'm from East Chicago. So uh, my name is Eve Gomez, and I'm from GI. See, we got <laughs> the world here in one place. How about that? And, okay, now I'm going to start with who I first uh, reached out, and uh, that's Danny, Danny mm -hmm. Del Valle. Danny, tell us a little bit uh, about you. Um, how, how did you get to where you are right now? What, what happened in your life, good, bad, or ugly, and, and why did you choose what you do now? Okay, well, uh, first of all, I just want to thank God for giving me this awesome opportunity, and thank you for having us on our show. Um, I just want to give a shout, quick shout out to my Yes, church, by all means, take advantage Woo. of the airtime. Yeah, give a shout, give a shout out, out to your loved ones. <laughs> my <laughs> Northgate, to my parents, my brother, and my uncle Mikey. And um, well, when I was growing up, I, I was raised in church. And um, I just had like really good examples from my parents, my mom, and, uh, and my grandparents. And um, when, I was, when I was growing up, um, I always used to hang out with my uncle Mikey. And he would always have uh, some T.I., Young Jeezy, just loud rap music, and it just caught my attention. And I always loved music when I was growing up, so the rap caught my attention. But I was in church, and I wasn't. And um, well, so I wanted to, I, I was curious about, like, is it, does Christian rap exist? So I would ask my mom, and she'll go out, and then she'll find me Christian rap, and she'll bring it, and then uh, I'll rap those songs at church. And then when I was at, in third grade, I uh, ended up writing my own song. And then, um, so, I feel like music was a part of me growing up, and um, and some things that happened in my life, good and bad. Uh, a, a tragic part of my life was when my uncle, my uncle Mikey passed, and when he when he passed, it just it just took 
it just had a like a big negative effect on my life. Um, I, I was angry. Uh, I just I just gave up on God for a little bit, and then um, but God does turn things around for His glory. So instead of instead of that, I just I just I just I just took music, and um, I put it in a way. Well, my uncle was murdered, so I want to rap against murder. So um, that that's the way that uh, I transitioned to to God like like like. I just want to give that message out that um, I know how it feels to lose someone like getting murdered and all that. Like I know how I know how it feels to lose a loved one, and I'm not going to be out there promoting the same stuff that that almost destroyed me. So I just want to do something different, give give people something different to listen to, and offer them God, offering them life instead of death, like the other uh, the other music has been uh, given out. So um, that, that's basically that's basically my story behind uh, music and church. I've been. Uh, I've been in church all my life, and whenever I do want to grow straight, something in me just doesn't let me do it. And um, God has a real big hold in my life, and I met I met great people down the road, and God has been opening uh, a lot of doors for me, and I'm just really grateful. And now that you have gotten this far, how do you feel? Uh, it's, it's overwhelming. A lot of stuff has been going on. Um, we made our first music video this year. I, I'm, I'm on. Right around the radio. I mean, things that we never thought can happen happened just so fast because uh, I, I love my group. We're humble. We do this. We do this unto God. When I put out a song, I don't. I do it. I do it for God. When we yeah. put out songs, we do it for God. We don't do it for attention. And then when we get attention off of it, I'm just like, man, God is so good. Like we don't. We get things that we're not. That we're That's not right. searching for. That we don't. We don't try to get attention. I don't tell my friends like, yo, I'm a beast. Listen to my song. Like I don't. I don't do none of that. I just make songs and I just let God. Get, just let God handle it. Amen. And it's because we're uh, obey. Because we're uh, we obey God. He He does all the all the. He opens all the doors for us. We just do what He wants to do. That's it. And He He handles the rest. So I'm just really grateful. That's great. That's great. That's 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 awesome. Now we got the young one over here. He's more young and youngin. You all are youngins, okay? Youngin over here. Tell us a little bit about you. Well, um, uh, a little bit about your life. And, yeah. and you said you're 14, right? Yes. Okay. You're the youngest one that, that hangs out and does this this powerful message through music. Yes. Okay. Tell us a little bit about yourself. How did it get you where you are right now? Well, um, I like. Tell name, your name again, so oh, that way they know who's talking. Julian Taylor. That's my name. But okay, I Julian. go by Xavier in my song, so. And um, like Danny, I was always in church, and uh, I grew up listening to a lot of music, but I didn't start off rapping or anything. I always, like, danced, and mostly dancing. I was going to do dancing, but then uh, I don't know what made me change and start rapping or anything. So uh, what brought me here, I guess, uh, seeing this uh, generation is just, it's kind of, it's like sad, like, just to see that there's actually little people out here who really don't really care about life. They don't respect life. And, like, I I just sit back and think, like, I can't do none of that. I can't I can't work the corners and, like, kill people. And I just don't see myself doing any of that. So I feel like if anyone's going to be the voice, why not someone they can relate to? Because you can hear any 17-year-old mm -hmm. out there rapping, but they don't rap mm -hmm. nothing positive. They only rap about, like, game banging. And I'm like, I don't see the point of it. I feel like God has given us the talent so we can actually spread the message and be the voice of the people. Amen and amen and amen. You heard it from a 14-year-old talking, preaching already in his music. And are you around people that know that you know that, that do that? Have you had friends oh, that do all yes. that? I, I, to be honest, um, I kind of like to be around that crowd, not like saying that I was, I'm going to be influenced by them, I know I'm gonna be tempted because everyone's tempted, but I'm gonna be influenced by them. But I want to be the influence to them. So like, if I hang around like with the same crowd, like I hang around with Danny and I, these are my church friends. But like, I do have worldly friends, but just so I could be the influence, just so I could impact them with my music and all that, and they hear my music and they they already know what I'm about and all that. So. And what's your what's your fame name? What 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 oh. do you go by? I go by Xavier, and we got this movement. You know how he said Impact City. Well, I'm Legacy. And it's an acronym from Le for Let Everyone Go and Call Youth. That's the acronym. And you said something key that that maybe some people don't understand. You said uh, people of the world. Um, people. Ple please tell us. Oh, I, I know what you mean, people, but oh, please people, tell our listeners what you mean by that. Okay, so people like, of the world. Yeah. So there's um yeah there's Christian side, but then 
like the worldly people, those who don't see God as like the Almighty King and all that, those who don't think that God's real miracles don't happen by God. That's why when it's like people of the world, it's people who are not believers, but when they do everything they lost. want and yeah. not even in God's name, but in their name. Mm -hmm. Party hardy, get drunk and stupid, and kill and shoot yeah. and all that. That's what you mean. Okay. All right. Leave, leave, leave my big guy right here. <laughs> How old you say you were, guy? Uh, Sixteen. Okay. You're you're young and too. <laughs> tell us a little bit about you. You said you're from Chicago. Now I know I'm gonna ask what brought you out here, but tell us a little bit about your your uh, life as well. Uh, me personally, I was different from these two. I really didn't grow up in church. I really didn't have an interest in God or in church or thing like that. I was content with doing me and just living how I want to live because it was enjoyable to me. And I really like doing everything that I was supposed to be, that everything that I like to do. And I used to do a completely different type of music before this. I used to do uh, secular music. And I was just happy living for myself. And then I met, uh, I met his brother back in like third grade and knowing like I didn't know this like at first but these are people that God chose to to lead lead me to him mm -hmm. and I wasn't like they were always push church like push church like you should come to church you do this but it was like different from like the Christianity that like I seen from like because it was like it seemed real like they really lived it so it seemed different but I still didn't want to try it because I, I was content with doing me like even if I even if I was gonna sleep over and they had church the next day, I would leave before because I wasn't into all that. Mm. that and was then, too much for you. Yeah. Back then, right? It <laughs> did. <laughs> did one day. I just I just kept going one day and I just started to enjoy it. And then I think a summer came up. It was like summer 2013. I just stopped. And then I just came to like a point in life where like it didn't just seem nothing seemed enjoyable anymore. I just came to like a crossroads and I had to make a choice. And lucky enough, I think it was like two weeks from like that, uh, two weeks from like the day I left my dad's house, we hosted our annual jam night at uh, Northgate. And that was just the night that everything changed, that I had my encounter with God and everything's been different since then. Fortunately enough that they still talked to me, they still loved me and to the point to where I could be now. And Danny was the one who actually helped me change my music from doing secular to now doing something that honors God and gives a different message, not something that glorifies me, but something that glorifies him. Amen. And any regrets? No, <laughs> no regrets. I wouldn't change anything. Good, good, good. See, God does put people in your path for a reason, and everything mm -hmm. happens for a reason, and, and he works through us. And there's a saying that, that goes, and I can't take credit for it. I saw it in a picture, and, and I said, that is so true. And it says, God uses rescued people to rescue people. Mm -hmm. Amen, right? Amen. Mm -hmm. And, well, it feels so good just to be with a bunch of youngins. Now, <laughs> where did that name come from? I mean, youngins, I know that means young kids. Who, who, yeah. who thought of that name, and how, how did it happen? Well, um, I was listening to a beat. And it, it was my senior year, and um, no matter of fact, it was last year. And um, I was just, I was just seeing a lot of, a lot of things going on with my friends. My friends going in and out of jail. Some of them saying R.I.P. to their friends, and just seeing all this different stuff. Like, like just thinking like how, like how I grew up. Like I say in the line, um, in eighth grade, they were passing out condoms in the class. I had a class. And they were uh, passing out condoms, and they were, they were telling the kids, the kids were like, hey, can I go try in the bathroom? They're, they're letting the little boys go oh try it goodness. out in the bathroom. And I was raised as a Christian, as a Christian, and my parents uh, they waited, they waited to the right time to to uh, tell me about these different things. Like they they had to talk with me later on, and these kids they already knew about it, so they they went to go. So uh, I was, so like I, I was just introduced to all that like stuff by my friends also. And um, I just see my friends getting locked up. One of my friends couldn't graduate because he because he got arrested. Mm. One of my friends couldn't graduate. Uh, another one, we had uh, another one had uh, gotten arrested for uh, committing um, a homicide, I believe. Mm. And there are just people my age, and it just hurt me. Like I have like I have the answer. So music is like the biggest tool to spread any message. Like everybody listens to music, everybody loves it. So if I'm gonna do music, I just wanna do something influential, something mm -hmm. that can get people's attention, Amen. something different that nobody's nobody's heard of. And a lot of people don't know Christian. So um, 
I was just listening to the beat and God gave me uh, look around you. Look, look, look at the people that you're hanging around, hanging out with, and let them, let them inspire you to make the song to reach out to them. And then I was listening to the beat, and then um, I heard Julian rap before, and I was just thinking, like, man, God, I, I need somebody as, as a feature. And I was thinking of people that I was close to, I'm like, nah, I can't, I, I can't ask him. And then uh, God has told me, uh, ask Julian. So I asked him, and then we just made like a song, and everybody loved it, and made a lot of noise. And this is like my first, one of my first songs that made this much uh, noise. So it was just like, it was just, I, I was just so uh, grateful. I, I, I obeyed God and I listened to him and I didn't go my own way. And it, You were tempted, I'm sure, right? Yeah. Right? What was the hardest part that, that really, I don't even like to use the word struggle, but people out here use the word struggle, mm -hmm. in, in, uh, that force into saying, which way should I go? What was that moment where you, you just, it was a little difficult there for you? Well, um, that's my friend, Tony. And, um, yeah, so um, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not If really, you even felt that, I don't know if you yeah, experienced have, that or not. I have felt it, but just, just like um, even thinking, like God, God has a heavy conviction in my heart. Like even thinking of going, like you're talking about secular music, like switching, and and, and and you know because of the friends that you surround yourself with, oh, I you, you you also have that challenge because you know the devil will play you even in yeah. the people that you love, okay, including your friends, your family, yeah. uh, brother, sister, cousin, neighbor, he'll yeah. play to get you to switch. Yeah. Did you did you go through a type of struggle like that? I went through temptation. Um, I'm 19 years old. I've never smoked. I've never drank before, and I would have friends. Friends, they would come up to me. Hey, I got some. Uh, I got some weed for you. I got liquor. Here, uh, some of my friends would be like, "Oh, I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna be the first one to get you to smoke." But there was just something in me that has no. Like I've always, I, I was curious, but never to the point where I would actually think about doing it. And when my friends would hang out, and if I knew they were gonna smoke, I would hang out with them. I'm like, I'll, I'll hang out with you at school, but if I know what you're doing, I decided because you had to be wise. Also, I'm not gonna hang out with the wrong crowd, and then. It always happens where the innocent one gets shot. I'm not going to be that person, so you have to be wise. Um, I was friends with them in school. I never hung out with them out of school just for the simple fact I don't want to put myself in that situation. Like God has something better for me, and I'm not going to let one hit or one sip mess up mess up my okay. dream. And I believe we all have to think that way. Like it is like it is cool to be the influence, but I tell my friends, you want to hang out? Okay, let's go to church. Like you want to hang out? Come to my house to play basketball because they respect my house. They wouldn't smoke or drink it. Right, right. They wouldn't curse. So uh, I just advise people like. Don't don't do that to yourself. Like if you have a struggle with lust, you wouldn't you wouldn't be by yourself in a, with a girl in a room and lock the door. Like you wouldn't. Mm. That's just something you don't do. So, um, God, I, I thank God that I, all honor and glory to God because Amen. He kept me strong and He gave and I asked for wisdom and I received it. And um, I just want to be a voice of influence and tell people that there. I want to. I want to. I'm glad I'm able to say I'm 19 and never smoke and drink because people know it's possible. You got a 20 year old over there says the same thing, and he uh, will yeah. proudly <laughs> say I'm straight edge. Is that how you say it? Straight edge. Straight. Yep, I, I consider myself straight edge. Yeah. Yes. And, and you know, it's something to be proud about. Yes. And yeah. not be stupid and be proud about. Hey, look at me. I'm drunk and high. Want to follow me? Okay. Now we had someone that, that, that Mr. Uh, Cameron over here was mm -hmm. was not raised Christian. When was that? Did you get that challenge as well? Now that you are uh, on our side, did, have you had that type of challenge? Now that you know you you've had both worlds, but now that you're on this side, have, are you still? Are you, have you experienced that with some of your friends? I mean, yes. Yeah, some of the same temptations come up because now these are people that I've known like before before I say before Christ. So like when that change happens to people who don't know Christ, some that seems unreal. So they'll still bring like the same temptations like, oh man, I remember you used to smoke. He's like, come on man, let's do it again. Or man, I remember you used to do this. Like, come on, let's do it again. Mm. I mean it's the same temptations that come up. But I think I thank God that he gave me the wisdom and still gave me like the revelation and the insight because it was just an empty well. It was nothing in there. Mm. And like sometimes like sin, the same sin, because when you get familiar with the same sin, it's some some starts to become something that you enjoy. I already know the consequences of it, so I really don't want to go mm. back down the same thing mm. and hurt my relationship with God. Amen. Wow. Woof. It's powerful in here, guys. This is Sound Off with EVE here on WLTH Radio, AM 1370, the region's choice and the people's voice. And right now it is... 32 minutes after the hour, and we're going to go for some commercials, so don't go anywhere. Don't touch that dial because it's going to get hotter in here. Be right back. All right, now. 
You've been looking for something to do on a Saturday afternoon? Well, the time is here. The Dinoland Big Show is hosting a citywide kids dance party and concert Saturday, October 11th from 4 to 8 for children ages 2 to 14 years old. It'll be held at the all-new John Will Anderson Boys and Girls Club located 2700 West 19th Avenue right here in the city of Gary. It'll be a fun-filled afternoon of dancing, prizes, contests, face painting, balloons, and refreshments. It'll be something like that old school sock hop we used to have back in the day. And oh yeah, did I say it was all free? Free Kids Concert is something you want to do with your whole family. So parents, grab your kids, your kids' kids, your neighbor's kids, why not even your cousin's kids, and come on out Saturday, October 11th to the Citywide Kids Dance Party and Concert. Sponsored in part by the DD Foundation to help end homelessness. In partnership with the mayor of the city of Gary, Karen Freeman Wilson Mayor, this event will be chaperoned by area fraternities and sororities, as well as candidates for re election. This is a Donald Lynn Big Show production. It's the newest, hottest radio show on the airwaves, The Hatcher Empowerment Factor. The Hatcher Empowerment Factor, hosted by sisters and attorneys, Reagan, Rachelle, and Renee Hatcher, discussing breaking news, local and national politics, the justice and injustice system, education, and much, much more. Listen live and call in every Sunday from 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. Brought to you in part by Stella Shampoos and Conditioners. The Hatcher Empowerment Factor, Sundays from 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. on the Region's Choice and the People's Voice, WLTH. Howe Coleman Funeral Home, located at 3200 West 15th Avenue in Gary, Indiana. He has been serving families faithfully during their time of bereavement and need. At Powell Coleman Funeral Home, we provide prompt service as we go above and beyond to meet your loved one's final wishes. Please call us at 219-885-5529. Day or night, our kind, compassionate, understanding staff is available to give advice and encouragement. At Powell Coleman Funeral Home, we'll provide you with a helping hand and the highest quality of service. You are treated as family. Please call Powell Coleman Funeral Home at 219-885-5529 to meet all of your needs during your time of bereavement. Save the number in your phone. You never know when you need a good, compassionate, and kind funeral home. <laughs> All right, welcome back. This is Sound Off with EVE here on WLTH Radio. Shout out to Dinah Lynn. I think she's now finally tuning in from Indianapolis out there. And and uh, Dinah, these are our young acts that's going to be at the show as well. So just so you guys know, come October 11th, I want to see a rainbow there because it's all about our youth and no matter what age you are no matter what country you're from or what ethnicity or background you are doesn't matter you are young loved and talented we need to have you part of this uh, part of the program and, and, and the concert and want you to come and have some fun and it's just gonna be awesome and you know you know with me I'm all about solutions I'm all about bringing stories so that you don't always have to hear all this negative stuff that you see in the news, that you read in the newspaper. We have enough of that. And if I bring some of that, it's because I'm going to bring a solution right there. Go ahead, caller. You're on the air. Hi, Eve. And hi, hi young Andrea. gentlemen. You know, it's so, you make me proud. I don't know you, but you make me proud to, to, to hear young, young gentlemen speak like that. You know, it's real. It's real. It's a real honor to hear somebody talk like that. Thank you. And thank no, thank you for being so you know so humble, and and stay positive. I love you guys. I don't know you, but I love you. <laughs> I love you too. Really love you too. <laughs> okay. Thank, right, you. thank you. Thank you. Thank you for, thank you for sounding off. Appreciate thank you. you. This is Sound Off with EVE here on WLTH Radio, and we have some talented uh, young men here. And we have Impact City, and then we have um, Legacy. Legacy. Yes. <laughs> why? Why? Where did that come from? Where, where, where okay, I'm gonna be honest. I was in church when I came up with this. Uh, I was sitting all the way in the back writing some notes down. For some reason I kept hearing Legacy because my uncle kept telling me to create a movement, create a movement. I'm like, I don't know what I should name it. I was thinking of like Legacy and all that. And um, I said, but why Legacy? And so. 
as I was thinking about the youth, um, I wrote down legacy and I looked at it for a minute and I started writing and it's, it turned into an acronym for let everyone go and call youth. So legacy is an acronym and I just stuck with it. I feel like it, it's very powerful. Yeah. And, and where did this happen again? During church. Uh, yeah. See, when you open your heart, he's talking to you and it's easier to listen. Yes. Amen. And some people say, well, he's not listening. Yes, he is. Have you stopped and heard him with your heart? He does mm -hmm. talk. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, caller. You are on the air here with Sound Off with EBE. Yeah. Can you put your radio down, please? Put your radio down so we can, don't get any feedback. Okay. All right. Hi, how are you? Hi, I'm good. And who am I, I ask is this? This is Marielle. Hello and there. This is my cousin. Okay. Hello, cousin. How are you? Uh, hi. Hi, Julian. Hey, <laughs> shout out to them, you know, it's the family. Okay, well, shout out to the family. Any message or question you want to ask here on WLTH? <laughs> Hi, we're just representing, um, I mean, we just want to <laughs> say, tell Julian that we're so proud of him. He's yeah. awesome, and we love him so, so much. Hello, how, do you, how do you feel right now? I don't know. I feel kind of nervous. I, I, I don't know. Oh, you're doing just great. Right <laughs> no, we're watching you, right? For real. Okay. okay, we love you. Bye. Tell Gabby I'm missing. Good job, guys. Bye. Love Thanks for bro. calling. Thanks for calling, guys. And, and we love you as well. Go ahead, caller. You're on the air. Hi, Julian. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Another this? family member. All right. We got a lot Julian, of love Julian, this here. is Senya. I know. I can tell by your voice. How's it going? <laughs> we are so proud of you, dude. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for calling. I appreciate that. Show the love and support. That's awesome. Julian, you are like our best cousin. Okay, Nini wants to talk to you. Oh, okay, not talk. I mean, oh. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Wait. Are you? Hello? Hello, hey. Yeah, go ahead. You're live here on WLTH Radio. Julian, this is Nini. I know. Hey. <laughs> no, but I'm proud of you guys. You too, Danny, and... Harvey. You guys are making thank a huge you. impact. Oh, thank you. I love you. Thank you thank so you. much for love calling in. This means a lot to our youth. When our youth is doing something great and then you have followers, you have fans, you have family that you're supporting, it means so much more to them. And thank you for calling in and giving them their, your love and, and continue to support them. Appreciate you. All right, this is WLTH. The call-in number is 219-885-1371, and I have some youngins in this crowd. And, and you know what? This, this song really catching, you know, the youngins, you know, youngins in the street. Uh, and we, we want to see the youngins in the street, but doing something right, something positive. Go ahead, caller. You're on the air. Uh, yes, I was calling. It. This is Joe Smith from Northgate oh, with Joanne. the youth, Danny and Harvey. Hello. And Julian. Hello. 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 Hey, what's up, Joanne? What's up, Joanne? What's up? What's up, y'all? <laughs> I just want to let them know that I'm proud of them and I love them. Love and that's it. And I love you, too. And I love you. I don't know you yet, but we don't have to know people to love people. And I appreciate what you're doing as well. You keep following the right way. Thank you. I just want to let them know that I was proud of them. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, guys. I appreciate you guys calling in and show your love here live on WLTH Radio Sound Off with EVE. You guys continue to do what you're doing and just keep on doing what you're supposed to do, and that's following God. All right. Thank you. Thank you. This is Sound Off with EVE, WLTH Radio, AM 1370, the region's choice and the people's voice. And if you just uh, decided to just turn your knob to 1370, what do we have going on here on this Wednesday beautiful evening? A lot of power, a lot of great energy in the studio here at 487 Broadway. We have uh, Impact City, and we also have uh, Legacy. And, and, you know, the thing is, is that they have the same temptation as you grown folks have. But you know what? If they can do it, so can you. And, and, and you as adults should know better. And some of you, I can tell you, shame on you. If you're not doing the right thing and you're still being, what do you call it, thugging and, and ghettoing and doing all the stuff that you're not supposed to, I have some young people right here that's telling you what you should be doing and stop doing what you're doing. I don't want to see our juvies. Our kids go on to juvie. I see them. I see some Latino kids there, too. And, and when I see them in classroom, I tell them, I don't want to ever see you Lake County Juvenile Detention Center. Because as an interpreter, that's, what, that's where I go. Mm -hmm. Today I had a case. Monday I had two cases. 
And, you know, uh, the thing is, is what I heard you say, Danny, and that's so powerful, is that you know better from right and wrong, mm -hmm. and you know there's consequences. And that's something that I tell all our youth, even adults, that for every choice, there's a consequence that follows. It's up to you if you want to make that consequence good, bad, or indifferent. Mm -hmm. and, and I see that you guys are, are doing what, what you should be doing. And uh, I, I'd like for you guys to continue uh, and spread the message in your music. Um, you know, you got support right here. Mm -hmm. uh, Mars, you know, Marzipan over there, he, he's, I, I'm not very high in tech. So when I have questions about things, um, then I, you know, ask him about it so that he can also help aid and do this uh, to help you guys as well. Uh, it is, for those of you to tune in, it's 42 minutes after the hour here on WLTH Radio. The call-in number is 219-885-1371, and we're showing a lot of love in here. But there's one more song. Danny, what's the name of that? Uh, uh, are you play right oh, no, I'm going to play Julian's one. Okay. He's, he's looking for it right now. Uh, the next song is uh, called All I Know. Well, all I know is what I know here right now, and all I know <laughs> is awesome. And why, why that name? Uh, well... It's just, um, this message of this song is basically telling people, like, when you come to God, people think I was boring. And this song is just to let people know, like, Christians aren't boring. Like, I like to hang out with my friends, and we love to listen to music and crack jokes on each other, play basketball, do normal stuff. So this stuff, I mean, this song, um, this song is actually just a, just a fun song, just to uh, give a positive message saying that you can still have fun without getting drunk, and you can still have fun without going to the club, because we're, we're, per we're perfectly fine. We're content. We have fun. Hello. Really? And you guys are normal, right? Yeah, God makes yeah. us content. Hello, yeah. I'm telling you. Yeah, See, fun. you know, and, 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 <laughs> isn't he? Yes, and he, he has a, such a sense of humor, doesn't he? Yes, he does. <laughs> and the thing about it is that some kids are too embarrassed to even talk about God in school. How do you guys handle that? It's difficult because I, f I used to uh, feel like I was going to get judged. But then after a while, people kept telling me, like, you shouldn't be embarrassed to God because... Like the things he does, like you could share your testimony with people, and if they don't like it, then just watch them do you. Watch, watch them do the thing. Um, watch them, watch God work in me. Or something. Hello, exactly. And speaking yeah. of hello, we have a caller. Go ahead, caller. You're on the air. Go ahead, um, caller. You're on the air. Hey, hey, Julian and Danny. This is Gavi, you guys. Uh, I just oh, want to so say I love y'all. So I love the impact you guys are are putting on our youth. And, and and we're doing different and that uh, i love you guys and um you know keep making a difference and never get discouraged guys love y'all right. amen love you bro love you too I'll peace you to I'm you <laughs> this is sound off with eve and we're going to listen to the song that danny was just uh, expressing about it so listen to this if and we're going to find out how we can reach them and, and they're they're opening their arms to you if you're willing to listen to a right message this is a good message Right yeah, you know that, you know that, yeah, cooling with the squad, you know how that goes, turn them into fiends, they come back for more, I like chasing dreams, they completing goals, that misfit lifestyle, bro, that's all I know, cooling with the squad, you know how that goes, turn them into fiends, they come back more. I like chasing dreams and completing goals. That misfit lifestyle, bro, that's all I know. Cooling with the team, chilling with the bros. Prayers turn to favor and the open doors. My spirit on fire, you caught the Holy Ghost. We live in life so that that's all we know. Just another day in me and bro, this cooling. Finesse the devil out of everything, he stay losing souls, we stay choosing. Say I won't rap about Christ, so I'm an anomaly. Say I won't give him that eternal life. I mean, come on, we'll be losing. Got no time to be wasting. Hold me, I get straight to it. Living water, I can lead you to it. I stay stupid. Hike the rule over King King Dreams became my dreams. Nothing but same or as it seems. All I know is about Christ, so I'm be going hard the whole night, cause I ain't going back to my old life, yeah, all I know is about Christ, so I'm be going hard the whole night, cause I ain't going back to my old life, and homie, that's just all I know, cooling with the squad, you know how that goes, turn them into fiends, they come back for more, I like 
chasing dreams and completing goals. That misfit lifestyle, bro, that's all I know. Cooling with the team, chilling with the bros. Prayers turn to favor and he open doors. My spirit on fire caught the Holy Ghost. We live in life so that that's all we know. I've been cooling with the bros. If you the type that brag and boast, then move around and please go ghost. Guys are what we're bragging rights, and that's all I know. Had some trials in my life, but we got we endure them. All that money talk is boring, sounds like this is boring. Tell them, fake a lot of y'all like this. God is who he say he is, but some doubt that this ain't catfish. Man, I had to dumb it down. I know one day she'll come around. I just wanna make my mother smile. I know I'm on something now. We got them going crazy while in at our shows. We wanna make an impact, that's all I know. Cooling with the squad, you know how that goes. Turn them into fiends, they come back for more. I like chasing dreams and completing goals. That misfit lifestyle, bro, that's all I know. Cooling with the team, chilling with the bros. Prayers turn to favor and the open doors. My spirit on fire caught the Holy Ghost. We live in life so that that's all we know. Cooling with the squad, you know how that goes. Turn them into fiends, they come back for more. I like chasing dreams and completing goals. That misfit lifestyle, bro, that's all I know. Cooling with the squad, you know how that goes. Turn them into fiends, they come back for more. I like chasing dreams and completing goals. That misfit lifestyle, bro, that's all I know. Cooling with the team, chilling with the bros. Prayers turn to favor and the open doors. My spirit on fire, you caught the Holy Ghost. We live in life so that. Whenever, wherever. Yeah. Got your back, see? Whenever, wherever, I've got your back. W. <laughs> that just doesn't sound right coming from me, does it? <laughs> Sounds great, man. That's uh, the only thing we know, and that's awesome. That's uh, all we know, right? Yeah, all I know. All I know. And all we know here in the studio is all doing good, powerful, very positive. And, you know, we have an adult here. We have a father here. And I, I, we, you need to hear how he feels just listening to these testimonies, not only from his son, but from the other uh, kids, how he feels as a parent. And that, this is a message for you parents that have kids going the other direction. Hi, how are you, sir? How are you doing? Good, good. All right. Can you give us your name, please? Yeah, my name is Mario Del Valle. Okay, so I guess you are Del Valle's son. Yeah. Danny's Valle, son, son, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay, awesome. Now, um, I don't know if you ever heard them talk this way, other yeah. than their music. Uh, how, how does this make you feel? Well, you know, they're, uh, they're my youth from uh, Sold Out Ministries from Northgate. So I'm the youth minister there, and it's just, uh, it's, it's just a blessing. Uh, since Danny was a young man, since he was little, since he was a baby, at the age of two, he, uh, I remember we brought him a microphone, he would walk all up and down the street with my father and just uh, singing and just pretending he's singing at two, three, four years old. And that was his calling. It's like God just already, that was his talent. It was since he was two, three years old, he was already just addicted to that mic. And it's, uh, and yeah, he did have some tragedy, tragedies. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm a little nervous. It's the first time. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. Um, We're allowing that. It's all good. Uh, you know, my father passed away. He was real close to him. I, and then also uh, my, my, uh, uh, my brother-in-law, Mikey, that was his uncle. He's very tight with him. And um, I just see him growing more and more into his music. And uh, the messages were just uh, very profound. It's like you literally see God's word in it. You know, and it's a blessing, it's an honor just to have him just, even every time he makes a song, it's always, he goes down to the he's like, Dad, Mom, look at my song, you know. Uh, what you think about it, it's just the words, the message, it's just dead on. I mean, it's just a, an amazing, you know, 
amazing message. You know, it's always about uh, encouraging. It's always about uh, glorifying God. You know, um, Harvey has been with us for so many years since he was little as well. You know, and it's just awesome to see these young men being a powerful influence out there. But it's always all glory to God. It's always our glory to God, um, you know, with the pastors preaching at the house, Pastor Joy, I mean, it's always encouraging, you know, we goes out of there fired up, you know, it's just amazing. It's just amazing. That's the key word, fire. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And when I say fire, you guys know what I mean, fire. Yes. <laughs> uh, for people of the world, fire is not the one that you touch and get burned. Fire, we're talking about is that fire that it's in you, in your music, and you want more. That's right. And I know I, I feel that I, I know what it feels like too. see. I was on the other side, too. For those of you that don't know. Yes, I'm on the other side. That's why you don't see me where you used to see me. But I, it was still not bad either. It's just not late at night anymore. <laughs> <laughs> By nine, ten o'clock, I'm already like, OK, time to call the night. Uh, but as a dad and, and as a community person and, and a, as a parent, please, you have the time now to share a positive message to those that are out there, don't know the direction for their kids, as a parent, can you send out a message out to the other parents? Yeah, of course. You know, um, just real quick, you know, I, I gave my, my life to God four years ago, and uh, I was living a life. I mean, I, I really was out there. Um, the thing is, you know, and now as I'm growing closer and closer to God, and I see all these youth that I have, you know, just every youth that I have, they're just so fired up for God. They're just so sold out, just, just I mean, it's ecstatic, the talents that they have. Uh, we have poets, we have, and the thing is that they use the talents to always glorify God. And as a parent, as a youth leader, as a youth minister, as these kids, the thing is, you know, as adults, as parents, as community, in our community, we also have to be the example. Us being the example, we're, encourage the next generation. You know, the enemies out there to seek and destroy. Mm -hmm. but, oh, yes. You know, and he's busy. They have it harder because, you know what, he's always going to try to seek and destroy the younger generation because these are our next pastors. These are our next doctors. But it's awesome when they're going to become that doctor, that lawyer, that judge, that they're also sharing the word of God. How beautiful is that? So, you know, the enemy is always going to strike at them 10 times more. And mm -hmm. as adults, mm -hmm. we have to understand that, that we always have to encourage them. We always have to give them a word of encouragement, a word that will go ahead and inspire them and be an example, you know, and, and it's our job. And, um, and I always say that, I mean, I always feel that real hard, real strongly, you know, as adults, we have to be that example for our next generation. And, and that's something that we, we need to continue to do. Mm -hmm. and, and you know what? Uh, one reporter on the news, um, in the media, I praised him for doing it. He said, I received God. He's cancer now. I received God. And for him to publicly say that, I said, oh, that's powerful. Because people censor you when you're in those fields, what to say and what not to say. God mm. told me to be bold, and right. uh, I'm bold. That's right. People may want to stop me, may shut me up, make my glands or my throat or my vocal cords hurt so that I could be quiet. And I'm not going to be quiet, whether it's here or anywhere else, because we got to keep it real and, and tell people that that's not life. And pray for our young kids because the devil is so busy. Mm -hmm. and, and, and he, you're right, and, and he'll touch you in the places that you need to go, but you're being censored, like being a judge, which one we already got prayer out of the schools. Now we, we should ask for permission if we can talk about God mm -hmm. in the classroom. What's so wrong with, what's something wrong with that picture and something wrong with that, and I have a problem with that. See, mm -hmm. And I've been able to mention God in the classrooms where I go and talk to these kids and say, do you have faith? Do you believe in something? Do you believe in yourself? Do you believe in the force or in the power? But do you believe in God? Some have some issues because something happened to them. Um, if you guys have not watched the movie out there, God's Not Dead, I suggest you watch that movie. And this is in a school, in a college, that sends a great message from a student to a teacher. That's one powerful, powerful movie. And another powerful movie is coming up October 3rd as well to watch. And that's with, uh, I mentioned his name, now I, can't, I have bad for names. Um, uh, Nicholas Cage. Yes. Left yes. Behind. Left yeah, Behind. Woo-wee. That. That's, awesome. <laughs> that's another powerful movie. Watch it. Watch it. it. Hollywood is now talking to you the way we're talking. Hello. Mm, hello. Right. Okay. Well, we got one more song, and this is from Legacy. This is also another powerful message for all of you listening here on WLTH Radio. Let everyone 
when they go and call you. Don't judge me. Cause I'ma live my life how I wanna live it. Got a lousy. I'ma stay on my grind. They say no, you still a sinner to them I'm not a winner, but then I drop a rhyme and then write their riches into my will Give them a lesson, they won't give them the blessing To be discouraging, they shattered in the broken dreams Of the empty, broken heart, they are the ones who really started From the bottom with nothing, empty bottle, broken dream What it seems, judge a book up on this cover That you might just get surprised Cause all you see is my appearance, not with lies Deep inside, deep inside, yeah my past I try to hide But I always get attacked by the demons with these lies and have those that they say won't phase me cause I'ma drop bombs inspiring on the daily like what I need that squad for what I need that gun for what that Mary do inside my life boy yeah that work no time is taking up all of this time I could devote to all my rhymes to the one who gave me all of mine cause with him I'm still gonna shine I'm on my grind I'm on my way and not a thing gonna change I serve it up till it's my day I live it how I want Don't you judge me cause I'm gone So my God, there's nothing wrong with that Shut up when I speak out with my words Cause all they want is drug music That's not what I serve And I'm coming in so heavy that the whole world is infer That I'm never gonna back down And I get what I deserve I'm living it and I'm getting it And I won't stop till I finish this I demolish this cause I own the bitch And I take it down cause I got this They don't mess with me cause I'm about this I'm a boss boy and I'm on it Cause ain't nobody greater than my Jesus And ain't nobody do it like Xavier did Nah Hey, y'all never knock me down for nothing When I bust around, they hate it Cause they think that I'm front But when I come up, don't act like I owe you something Back when we was in school, I wasn't cool for nothing Uh, now they trying to change on me Won't go for the world because, well, they ruin homies Well, I go for my guy cause he save homies And I don't need a gang of squad cause I don't need homies Don't need a gang on my side I'ma go ahead and chill and let that be right Savior. Thoughts that come to my mind that I'm never gonna make it On the outside that's smile, but inside yeah I'm faking The ones that said they hate me not saying congratulations Cause they know I'm at the top and they know that I'm not gonna stop I'm on my grind, I'm on my way And not a thing gon' change I serve it up till it's my day And boy I still gon' change I live it how I want Don't you judge me cause I'm gone So my God, there's nothing wrong with that I said I live it how I want Don't you judge me cause I'm gone Serve my God, there's nothing wrong with that Yeah All right. Uh, this is awesome music. Awesome, awesome music. And I just got a Texas. Who's that in your sh- great show? Uh, great music they have. Now, that is something I would hear instead of bad words and negative energy. Tell them keep up the good work. And just as I was saying off the air, this is music, parents, you want to hear in your car. Why don't you uh, ask these youngins for for a CD, buy their music, so that you can put it in the car and shock the heck out of your kid. And they're like, wow, mom's hip now. Dad's listening to rap. But see, it's not just rap. It's the message. This music, parents, play in your car, please. Now, we just got a couple seconds left. Uh, we Give a shout out. Uh, this is Tony, Tony Baloney. Tony is their background. Tony is their support, their sidekick. What do you do in the in the group, uh, Tony, with uh, Impact City? I'm just like a speaker because I've been through, you know, the gangs and all that. And God kind of changed my life around and showed me that life's not about gang bang. It's not about selling drugs. And it's about giving support to the kids and all that and showing them the positive things instead of the negative things. Amen to that. So I need you with the Reclaiming Our Kids program for you can be one more in their members. They're, they're my friends. They've been here before, too. Patrick. I grew up with 
Yeah. How about that? Mm -hmm. Just keep that in mind. Mm -hmm. And uh, with that, guys, time has run out. Wish I could stay here a little longer. I would love to. Give us uh, uh, information. How do we uh, buy your music? Where do where who, who's the contact, Dad? Uh, Danny. Okay, uh, well, you can contact me. Uh, my name is Danny. My number is two one nine. 801-4361 and you can contact me and you can uh, ask me uh, for a CD and we can work something out. That's right and also come this Saturday they will be performing on stage as well at the uh, Latino Fest or Latino, it's almost like a fest because I got the entertainment going on uh, and this will be this Saturday at Gene Shepherd from 10 to 2. It's a free event at uh, the Latino Resource Fair. They'll be performing and also folkloric dance groups. So it's going to be a totally different entertainment. We got some dancing and we got some singing. And I would like for all you guys to be there at the Gene Shepherd so we can dance and eat and just enjoy and get a lot of information that families uh, uh, seldomly need. And that's all under one roof. With that, guys, well, the weather, man, I don't think we had time for the weather, but we know what it's going to be like. It's going to be awesome because that's the way we make it. Have a blessed evening. Guys, shout out to all of you that's listening. Guys, right. peace and love. Good night, guys.